they found themselves trapped inside a mysterious building deep in the forest. Every night, strange creatures would emerge from underground tunnels and observe the captives through one-way mirrors, silently watching their every move. But why were these people trapped? Who or what are these mysterious creatures, and what do they want? Hello everyone, welcome to Happy Puppy Recaps. Today, we'll delve into a suspenseful thriller titled The Watchers. A man is frantically running through a foggy forest, disoriented and desperate. With only 22 minutes until sunset, he tries to follow the fading light, but darkness quickly envelops the forest. Spotting a familiar signpost, he realizes he's back where he started. In a frantic attempt to escape whatever is pursuing him, he climbs a tree. However, he slips and falls, and before he can react, something pulls him into an underground hole. Meanwhile, Mina, a pet store employee, is tasked with delivering a parrot to a zoo. Distracted by a call from her sister, she fails to notice numerous missing person posters along the roadside. As she drives into the forest, her phone, radio, and car abruptly malfunction. Stepping out of the car, she sees a sign reading point of no return 12. Carrying the parrot, she begins her search for help. But soon, she realizes her car has vanished. Panicking, she runs through the forest as night falls, hearing wild animal sounds around her. Suddenly, she spots a woman and follows her to a strange building. Inside, she finds three other people, an older woman named Madeline, a young girl named Sierra, and a boy named Daniel. They, like Mina, are lost in the forest. Madeline explains that the building is called the Coop and warns that their time is limited. The creatures, known as the Watchers, are particularly interested in newcomers. Although Mina is bewildered, she follows the other's lead, standing in front of a one-way mirror. Madeline reassures Mina that the creatures will only observe from behind the mirror and won't come inside as long as they stick to the rules. That night, the Watchers appear. Mina, filled with dread, stands in front of the mirror and hears applause from beyond. Despite her fear, as Madeline promised, she survives the night unharmed. Determined to leave the next day, she sets out with her parrot, but the others don't stop her, knowing that escape from the forest is impossible. Not far from the coop, she sees her late mother's image and runs in terror. Madeline finds her and convinces her to return, explaining that they have tried countless times but can never leave the forest. The forest induces illusions, and they are the prey. To survive, they must remain vigilant. Madeline mentions the forest signposts, all leading back to the coop within half a day's journey, allowing return before sunset. At night, while Sierra dances to music, Mina finds a box of videotapes marked with Professor Arke's records. The next day, Mina and Sierra search for herbs. Sierra reveals she and her husband, John, entered the forest, but he disappeared a week ago. They come across one of the forest's numerous interconnected tunnels, where the watchers hide during the day. Sierra mentions they've been trapped for about five months. Returning to the coop, Madeline reiterates the safety rules, don't lean against the mirrors, stay inside after sunset, avoid the tunnels, and always stay in well-lit areas. Mina, however, grows increasingly distressed after a week of confinement. Approaching the mirror, she taps on it, prompting growls and taps from the other side. Madeline urges her to stay calm and remain visible to the watchers. The next day, Mina and Daniel go hunting. Doubting Madeline's rules, Mina suggests they investigate the tunnels, needing Daniel's help. Inside the tunnel, Mina finds signs of past inhabitants, a bicycle, and a camera. Suddenly, a peculiar hand emerges, but Daniel pulls her out in time, bringing the bicycle and camera back to the coop. Mina doesn't reveal she entered the tunnel. Daniel tinkers with the camera, and despite the forest's interference, it works inside the coop. He suggests placing it outside to capture the watchers at night. That evening, Someone pounds on the door, pleading for help. Sierra recognizes the voice as her missing husband, John. She wants to open the door, but Madeline stops her, calling it a trick. Madeline questions Mina about her activities that day, prompting her to admit she entered the tunnel. Despite Sierra's insistence, Madeline demands a question only John would know. The person outside fails to answer correctly. Still, Sierra wants to believe and asks to see his face on camera. As he leans in, a force pulls him away, accompanied by growls. The watchers have arrived. The group faces the mirror, but the creatures, unusually aggressive, begin banging on it. Just before it shatters, the watchers retreat. Madeline returns the bicycle to the tunnel, warning them not to break the rules again. With winter approaching and days shortening, finding food becomes harder, and tensions rise. One day, Mina notices Sierra missing and finds her by a tunnel. Sierra, longing for John, regrets not opening the door and contemplates entering the tunnel to find him. They hear Daniel's call and rush back to find him binding Madeline. 
Mina helps free Madeline while Sierra chases Daniel. Back at the coop, Daniel and Sierra refuse to open the door. As the watchers close in, Madeline and Mina hide in a rotting tree. Watching the watchers search for them, Mina confesses she caused a childhood car accident by distracting her mother, leading to her mother's severe injury. This guilt haunts her, and she doesn't want Daniel to experience similar regret. Touched, Daniel opens the door, Madeline scolds Daniel, but he questions her hidden truths. Madeline reveals she's a university professor who volunteered to study the creatures. She established the no-entry rule after encountering a creature mimicking her appearance, indicating the watchers learned to imitate humans by observing them. Suddenly, hearing their own voices pleading outside, they realize the creatures are imitating them. In a panic, they discover a hidden passage under the rug, leading to a well-stocked research bunker. The video logs show Professor R.K. founded the coop in the forest center. He observed the watchers from behind glass, noticing their mimicry. To study them, he brought local workers, hiding in the bunker himself, causing many disappearances. He believed mastering the creature's mimicry offered resurrection power. He found a curious creature resembling a fairy. In the final video, he admits losing his humanity and planning to stay with the creature, providing escape instructions. Follow birds to a river and find a boat at point of no return 134. He asks anyone who escapes to destroy his university research. Mina shares the escape plan with the group, and they decide to leave the next morning. As they follow the parrot to the river, they find a strange manhole cover. Madeline explains it's the seal of a fairy. Without their wings and magic, they are trapped here. Reaching the river at sunset, they find the boat but realize Daniel is missing. He appears, dragging John. Sierra warns he's not John, but Daniel is attacked. The watchers, disguised as Daniel, swarm them. Mina pulls Sierra onto the boat, escaping because the watchers can't leave the forest. Returning to town, they board a bus. Mina cleans up and visits the professor's office, finding his research and recordings. The professor explains fairies once protected humans until hybrids caused chaos. Rumors claim the hybrids vanished, but no proof exists. Finding photos, Mina fears what she sees. Showing Sierra a photo, Mina reveals the professor's wife, Madeline, passed away in 2001. Sierra is puzzled, but Mina suggests the professor's creature, disguised as Madeline, is a hybrid. As Sierra questions this, a car arrives. Sierra exits, and Mina realizes the real Sierra approaches. The creature knocks her out, accusing humans of trapping them underground. Transforming rapidly, the creature threatens Mina. In desperation, Mina recalls the professor's recordings. The creature, posing as Madeline, is a human-fairy hybrid, capable of walking in sunlight. Realizing her identity, she sprouts wings and flies away. After this eerie ordeal, Mina reconciles with her sister. Though Madeline has gone, Mina feels she might still be watching her. The film concludes, delivering a blend of suspense and fantasy. While not overly frightening, it maintains a gripping atmosphere with a clear, swift pace. The ending, with Madeline sprouting wings, is perplexing but adds a mystifying twist. What do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and liking, commenting, and sharing are the best support and help for me. See you next time.